Hey, it's my brand new video and as y'all see by these titles, today I am giving y'all my skincare routine. Yeah, it's not much to say about it. I'm not gonna get too in depth about my skin or nothing like that. If you guys want a skincare journey video, then I will give y'all one, but this is not the video. This is just to show y'all my skincare routine and what I do. And this is my night and morning skincare routine. I would've never thought I would be doing a skincare um, routine because my skin is never clear. And it's still, no, my skin's clear now. I just still got like, I just got some scars left and stuff like that. So besides the scars, my skin is clear basically clear again if you guys want like a skincare journey i would do that in a different video like i'll probably do that next updated skincare routine when my skin is like completely clear like full of like no scars no nothing my skin has always been acne prone but i don't want to get too much into it let's just go ahead and get into the video first things first is always wash your hands like no matter what you gotta wash your hands and i use my face wash always wash your hands before you wash your face before you do anything to your face. I use my face wash and a nail brush. You need a nail brush, especially if you have long nails or any nails in general. Even if you don't have nails on, you still need a nail brush. Cause like, especially eating wings, seafood, all that. Mm -mm. Yeah. After I'm done washing my hands, I go ahead and pull my hair back and do all that. I don't have that much makeup on. So to take my makeup off, when I do have makeup, a lot of makeup on, I use, Cotton swabs. I don't use the exfoliating ones. I don't know why I don't got them. I think she just got them just to be extra. And then I use melissa water to take my makeup off. Make sure if you get this one, make sure you shake it because the oil gets hot and you don't want to just be using oil on your face. But this takes your makeup off so easily. Again, I don't have that much makeup. I just need it. Okay, so after I'm done taking my makeup off, then I go ahead and wash my face. I wash my face with hot water. As I'm washing my face, I like to also wash my edges. I just got my lashes done this morning, so I'm gonna try my best not to get them wet. The only reason why you would want to um really wash your edges is because the more you put edge control or like the more you do your edges, the more dirt and build up it does, and then eventually it will start traveling to your face. So you don't want that. So that's why you need to wash your edges here and there. I don't say wash them every day because you don't want you don't need to wash them every day. But just wash them when they're not looking clean for them, you know? I would also usually be washing my lashes as well. But again, I literally just got them done this morning, so I'm not going to. I wash my face about a good three times. So first time is this time. I go ahead and rinse my face with cold water. With warm water, actually not cold water. Usually I would also dry them with a blow dryer as well, but I'm not taking the blow dryer out only because I usually use it on my lashes. I don't need to wash my lashes. So once my edges are dry and washed, let me go ahead and put my scarf on. Also, another thing, these are all like skincare tips I've literally learned over the years, I'm telling y'all. Another thing is always wash your scarves and your bonnets. Washing your scarf makes a big difference in your skin because again, you're constantly putting your scarf on your edges, putting your scarf on your head, on your hair with gel and all this stuff. It builds up dirt and bacteria. You don't want that. So you need to make sure you wash your scarf, okay? Now, second time, I don't really count how many times I wash my face. It just depends on like the day and the time of the day. But I go ahead and go in. Go on a rag. Usually I would use a white rag, but as of right now, no, I got stuff in my shirt. As for right now, I don't have a clean white rag. And then once I'm done washing my face with a rag, this is when I wash my face with cold water. I mean, rinse my face. You also want to pat dry your face. Don't rub your face. For my eyebrows, I do rub my eyebrows. Yeah, I sometimes rub underneath my eyes, but I don't need it right now. I do want to say, again, everybody's skin type is different, so what works for me may not work for you, but this is what I do to clear my skin up to make sure my skin stays cleared. Yeah, my skin used to not be like this. I still definitely have scars left, but scars are going to go away in the future. We're not going to worry about that right now. So after I'm done washing my face, I don't touch it at all. I get in the shower. This is a hint, hint. I take a hot, steamy shower, close the door. So I'm going to show y'all 
when I get out of the shower, literally, with nothing on my face. I'm gonna show you how moisturized my skin looks, okay? First out of the shower, I'm gonna take this bonnet off because I'm here. So after, right when I get out of the shower, I just see my skin looks clean. Mm-hmm, just some scarring. But let me show y'all what it is. I don't do much to my skin at night because I don't like going to sleep with like a full face of like moisturizer. Cause I feel like honestly it clogs my pores. Like that's just real, that's my skin. And this is what works best for me. So first when I get out of the shower, I don't go in with no other body products, nothing. I go straight to putting my face products on. So I use Tretinoin. Ain't been returning the text, so she been reading the press. And I rub that in. This, honestly, y'all, if y'all do ever end up getting, because this is from a dermatologist, it's prescribed. But I know there's a way you can get it not prescribed. If y'all ever do end up getting tretinoid, please be careful. The only reason why I can put so much on my face is because I've been using this for almost two years now and I've already gone through the purging stage. Just know when I first started using this cream, my skin, oh my gosh, it was peeling so bad and it will burn so bad. So just be careful, like don't put that much. So then next, um, I only really put that on my face, but for moisturizer, I use Cetaphil one. If you're gonna be using this, you're gonna need a good moisturizer and this is what I recommend. So I put it right here because this is where my Face is usually dry and I'll put it like on my nose. She got Google alerts and shit's go straight to a phone. And then I'll put some on my nose as well. And then also cortisone. This is for eczema, so if you guys don't have eczema, then yeah. She got Google alerts and shit's go straight to a phone. And on my neck, just in case, because girl, it was a point in my life where my eczema was bad. We don't want to go back to that, so. So face is done. So now let me put something on my lips. For lips today, I'm gonna use a lip mask. Usually I would put Vaseline on, but for this video, I'm gonna use a lip mask. She got Google alerts. I'm just gonna give me pink eye. I don't have a pink eye, y'all. I don't know why my um my thing looks like that. But yeah. If your skin also does come with drinking water and also getting enough sleep and not stressing yourself too much. I just wanted to put that out there. Now I go to sleep. I'm gonna see y'all in the morning when I wake up and I'm gonna show y'all my morning skincare routine because in the morning I do a little bit more to my face. I do at night. So I'm gonna see y'all in the AM, okay? Before you wash your face, make sure you brush your teeth first. So wash your hands again. For me, and a billion. And I can't keep my fucking eyes off your eyeballs. So I don't use my rag in the morning since I already use my rag at night. Because you don't want too much. It's fully in. First, I go in with clinamicin. Press. She got Google alerts. Them shits go straight to a phone. She works. And then I go on my moisturizer. This is when I actually use my moisturizer. And last, my sunscreen. This sunscreen is perfect because it doesn't leave a white cast and it's oil free, so it won't break you up. Usually I put this on at night too, but I don't really need it at night. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. That's what's spreading thin on us though. I'm just going this. So that's the link. That is it for my morning skincare routine. I don't feel like doing my outro right now, so I'll do it later. Cause I gotta hurry up and get to school. That's the end of the video. If y'all enjoyed it, and I will see y'all in my next video. Happy Vlogmas Day 15. We are 10 days away from Christmas and the end of Vlogmas. And yeah, so I'll see y'all in my next Vlogmas video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to ask them. And stay tuned for a more updated skincare routine. Probably later next year. Conversations with mama. Man, my life is a mess. Ain't been returning the text. So she been reading the press. She got Google alerts. Them shits go straight to a phone. She worried about me from home.